Hello everyone. Uh, today I wanted to talk a little bit about the software updates on the car. Now normally uh, you're just in your car, you're driving and uh, you know it's not kind of part of your daily program to check if your car needs an update or what. So uh, basically uh, this little thing here, that little yellow arrow indicates that there's a software update available. So that means you need to take your car to a Wi-Fi and put it in there and uh, then you can either update through the app itself or you could go under the car here and press the software button scroll down and press the update there and now it's just telling us if you check it now it says update available please connect to wi-fi to download the software update it also tells you which version it's going to be updating and you can choose between uh standard software train updates or advanced so depending on how brave you are regarding software updates if you always want to be running the newest software you definitely want to be on the advanced but if you don't really care about that and you just want the the stable really stable features uh you can be on the standard train that being said uh there's not a lot of big bugs that have come out yet so uh, at least for me it hasn't been a problem staying on the advanced train uh so basically i just wanted to tell you about this uh so you can see it says here now the normal updates that i've been downloading have been around i'd say four to eight gigabytes of downloads so you can of course just hook the car up just right through here and now it's telling me which Wi-Fi's are available and you could tether your car to the phone uh, and depending on if you have an Android or an Apple iPhone uh, your Wi-Fi is going to come up there if you go into your phone and, and turn that option on uh, if you have no other options there's always the public Wi-Fi's here and there you know the cafes that you might be able to park in front of uh, to get the updates uh, but basically uh, that's just what I tell you what I wanted to tell you guys uh, now here in Iceland the Tesla cars first order will be arriving assumably now in the end of February starting of March so there are going to be a lot of cars on the street so it's going to be a fun thing to see uh, another thing I wanted to show you guys is the superchargers on the map now if i browse here you can see there's a red dot right there and if i zoom into it now this is the only supercharger in iceland so but it's right there now a lot of people have been saying oh you know i have to wait in lines and so on now if i click that it tells me that one of two stalls is available so it tells you the price so you don't really you see both of them are are full uh you know you could drive to another one uh of course not another supercharger but there of course are other charging networks in iceland so uh but this one is today at least the fastest one i'm gonna put that here in my favorites definitely gonna add it to my favorites here all right let's see what more is there today remember anything new that I wanted to tell you guys about so I guess you just have to wait for the next video uh, I'm still planning on doing some tow barring uh, but you know I'm not really feeling up to doing a lot of towing in this weather <laughs> but I might just go ahead and get uh, you know uh, a rental tour uh, from Ikea or Bauhaus or something like that just to, to show you guys but uh, Let's see how, uh, how that will go. All right. Have a good one. Bye-bye.